Using AI to fight crime? Sounds great, right? Facial recognition could help catch criminals faster, and predictive policing might even stop crimes before they actually happen. But it's not that simple. More security or a threat to privacy? Let's weigh the pros and cons of AI in policing. A recent study found that 75% of European citizens support the use of AI by police and military, for example, in surveillance. That's surprising, given how many innocent people have been harmed by faulty AI. Now, don't get me wrong, AI can sift through large amounts of data quickly, like databases of wanted persons or crime statistics. It can also draw conclusions faster than any police officer. But AI does make mistakes and can be misused, for example, in facial recognition systems. 75% of Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires, is under video surveillance. The city rolled out a massive facial recognition program in 2019. Within months, the government claimed nearly 1,700 wanted criminals had been caught. But dozens of errors were also made, leading to unjustified police checks and even arrests. One resident, Guillermo Ibarola, was wrongfully detained for six days. Data protection activists sued the city, which led to the system being shut down in 2022. And it's been in limbo ever since. Activists and city representatives are still debating over a legal framework. Because there are more concerns. The investigation found data not just on criminals, but also politicians, activists and journalists. Were police using the system to track people illegally? An even bigger concern with facial recognition is that it can be used for ethnic profiling. China, for example, has used this tech to monitor and detain the Muslim Uyghur minority. And facial recognition also has a general flaw. It doesn't work equally well for everyone. Studies show it's less accurate for people of colour, women and non-binary individuals. So there's a lot of work to be done before these systems can work without bias. Predictive policing. But what if crimes could be prevented before they're even committed? That's the idea behind predictive policing. With AI, large data sets can be analysed to spot patterns and trends humans might miss. In theory, this could make police work more efficient and reduce human error in decision making. But accuracy and fairness of these models depend purely on the quality and diversity of the data that they are trained on. So the risk of reinforcing existing biases is high. When AI is trained on biased historical crime data, it can reinforce those biases. Over-police minority neighbourhoods may appear to have higher crime rates, and as a result, predictive policing tools could then unfairly target these communities, only increasing inequality. That said, predictive models are already being used in certain fields. For instance, they help assess risks at large events such as football matches. This allows police to focus on areas where issues are most likely to occur. For example, fights. AI and police, can it work? AI can save police officers time, for example, by creating case logs in the future. It can ensure that they're in the right place at the right time, and it could even lead to fairer decisions by removing human prejudices from the equation. But to get there, some obstacles need to be overcome. First, databases must be truly representative and diverse to ensure they treat everyone fairly. And second, there needs to be a clear legal framework on what data authorities can access. Abuse of this tech could threaten our privacy and civil rights. What do you think of the police using AI? Let us know.